Hello everyone, happy to see you on my math channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. Which one is larger? On the left hand side we have 100 to the power 100 and on the right hand side we have 99 to the power 101. And take a look, on the left hand side we have a really good number, we can write it as 10 square, this one as 10 square, so we can like simplify it or express it in another way on the left hand side. But on the right hand side we have two odd numbers, what about this 99, we cannot express this as a square and this 100 101, we cannot express it as a square or moreover we cannot create the same base on the left and on the right just to compare these two numbers yeah so in this in this video I'm going to show you a really interesting approach how can we compare these two numbers take a look about this about this approach first of all let's divide this on the left hand side by this on the right hand side so we have 100 to the power 100 over 99 to the power 101 yeah so we have this fraction right here and take a look closely. If the answer of this division will be, for example, greater than 1, then we can easily say that our, for example, we have 9 over 7, yeah, greater than 1. Then we can easily tell that our numerator is greater, yeah? If answer z is greater than 1, then our numerator is greater. So I hope you understand this step. This is really important you to understand this. If the answer is less than 1, for example, we have a fraction like 1 over 9, and we can easily say that 9 is greater than 1, and our our denominator will be greater. So two cases. First one is if, if, if the division is greater than one and the second one if division is less than one. Okay, so let's try to simplify this fraction. Let's try to simplify this. So I write this fraction right here. So 100 to the power 100 and divided by 99 to the power 101. So we have this fraction. How can we simplify this fraction? Let's try to express this 101 as 100 plus one. Yeah, let's try to do this. So we have the same numerator, so 100 to the power 100. And in our denominator, we have like 99 to the power 100 plus 1. Yeah, nothing changed. We just express this as 101 and 100 plus 1. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do next? We need to know a really important power rule right here because we have like 100 to the power 100. And in our denominator, we have situation like, for example, like that a to the power x plus y can be written as a to the power x times a to the power y. Yeah, so we have this question and let's write it as write it as 99 to the power 100 and times 99 to the power first. Yeah, so we just express this in another way. And I hope you understand this why I I express it like that because we know a really interesting and really important power rule right here. Okay, right now, really important moment. So we, I need to mention that right here we have all multiplication and division sign. And it, this is really important moment because if you have situation like that, you can group elements, yeah? You can group it wherever you want. For example, I want to group this to elements. I want to group this to elements. In our case, this is really great to group this to elements because we have power 100, yeah? So let's group it. We can write it as 100 to the power 100 divided by 99 to the power 100 and we have like multiplication by 1 over 99 yeah so this is like second very important step in our case okay right right now really important power rule a to the power x b to the power x we can write it as a over b to the power x so we can write it as a print in a parenthesis yeah okay let's do this so 100 over 99 to the power 100 and times 1 over over 99. Okay, nothing hard, just group these two elements and write it in one in one parenthesis. Okay, this is a constant which is really great, so we can easily simplify this expression inside this parenthesis because this is a constant and okay, this is a constant, we cannot simplify this more. But we can express this 100 over 99 as a sum of two fractions. For example, we can divide by 99, so we can we will have like 1 plus 1 over 99, yeah, if we add it, if we add this one, we will have 100 over 99, so still 100 as a power and times 1 over 99. This is very important step right here and I hope you understand this. I just read this 100 over 99 as, as this sum, okay? Okay, let's go next. Right now I want to mention one really interesting moment, because if you know a little bit about limits, a little bit about higher mass, you know, if we have like 1 plus 1 over n, raised to the power n, if we are talking about limit right here, so if you're talking about limit, I, I, I can write this limit right here, so limit when n approaches to infinity, if we have this expression and if we're talking about limit, this limit equal to e to the power 
only e, yeah, e approximately equal to 2.7118, okay? So this limit equal to 2.718, okay? Okay, and right now let's create this expression right here because this is completely the same but with one really interesting moment. We have 99 right here, we need the same power because n and n right here need to be the same. So how can we rewrite it? Let's write this as 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power 99 plus 1, yeah? And times 1 over 99, yeah? So I hope you understand this step why I write this, because I want to create this expression with the limit right here. And right now, let's break this, this, this sum right here, so we can write it as 1 plus 1 over 99 raised to the power 99, times this expression to the first power, because we had it, so 1 plus 1 over 99, and times 1 over 99. Okay, we have this expression right now, and I hope you understand this step. Right now, if we look closely to this, in a limit expression, if you're talking about limit, the maximum of this expression is 2.718. In a limit, when n approaches to infinity, this expression is like the maximum of this expression, so we write it as maximum 2.718. One eight. So we can easily say that this expression right here is less than 3. Okay, this is really important moment right here. So this expression is less than 3. This is our first step right here. And, okay, let's talk about this constant. I write this expression once more right here. I just want you to understand. So I write this 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power 99. Yeah, I write it times, right here we can add it, 1 plus 1 over 99, this is like 100 over 99, and times 1 over 99. As I told before, this expression is less than 3, okay? Okay, so this expression is less than 3. As I told before, in the limit we have e 2.71. Okay, what about this expression? 100 over 99, this expression is greater than, uh, greater than 1. And this expression is less than 1. So it tells us nothing, okay, this is less than, this is greater, this is less than. So we cannot like simplify this, we cannot know the answer, less than or greater than 1. So I want to rewrite it in the next way. This expression I write as expression that is less than 3, okay? Okay, so this is this expression. This expression I write the same, so times 100 over 99, okay? 100 over 99 and times 1 over 99, okay? 1 over 99. And take a look closely. I do very, very important trick right here. So 1, 1 over 99. Let's write this 1 over 99, that this expression is less than, for example, 1 over 6, yeah? So this expression is less than 1 over 6. And this is really important moment, because then this expression is less than this one less than 3, this expression, times 100 over 99, and instead of this expression I write expression that is less than 1 over 6, okay? In this way, in, in these circles right here. And take a look, expression that is less than 3 in numerator, 6 in denominator, so right here we can cancel this, 1 and 2. As a result, only 100 in our numerator right here, so this is less than, so 100 in our numerator, and our denominator, 99 times 2, it will be like 198. So we have this expression right now with this, with this sign. So if this expression is greater than this one, then this expression is greater than this one, but our expression is right here. So in, in the method of like inequalities, we can easily say that this expression have a, um, in a really good contact, I would say, with this one, because we will have like the answer that is less than less than 1. So we can easily say that our expression in the beginning, so 100 to the power 100 and 99, I write it right here, so 100 to the power 100 over 99 to the power 101 is less than 1. Then, as I told before, if less than 1, then our denominator will be will be greater. So from this we can easily write that our denominator, so 99 to the power 101 is greater than 100 to the power 100. I know this is this approach is is tricky one. Maybe a, maybe part of student don't understand this approach if you don't know about limit right here because you can solve this in, in this way when you know a little bit about limit, yeah. And this is tricky approach with inequalities, like not a common solution for this problem. Maybe you have another solution. It will be really interesting to read about it. But I want to show you my <coughs> really interesting approach and I hope you understand this approach. Thank you so much. 
to be with me in this class. I try to help everyone with, with math. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.